12 and one season last year, big expectations, I know for yourself personally, as well as the team, just talk about dealing with all that. Well, uh, you know, I think the great thing about football is you have to prove yourself, you know, whether it's year to year or, you know, week to week during a season, you always have to prove yourself again. No one cares what you did last week. And, uh, you know, I think guys on this team, myself, we, we try and we take, take that on wholeheartedly and understand that, you know, last year means nothing to this year. You know, you got to put the work in again. You got to get back out on the field and work harder, you know, got to study harder. And teams are going to be better. So uh, it's it's not too difficult. Uh, getting Coach Shaw back, you know, having him be the head guy now. He's your offensive coordinator last year. Coach Harbaugh leaves, but if there was any, I guess, next best scenario, you probably got it with Coach Shaw being the head coach now. Huh? No, I, you know, I've always had a great relationship with Coach Shaw. Ever since he's you know, recruited me out of Houston, uh, you know, I, I, I love you know being able to play under him. He's, he's or, you know, I'm sure it'll be even more fun during the games, but uh, he's done a great job with practice. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's worked out very well for us so far. Uh, what was that like for you, the offseason, having to decide what you were going to do with your future, and then you, you know, Jim Harbaugh decides he's leaving, and you know, how was that offseason? Uh, you know, it, was, it was fine. I was, I was at peace with my decision, so I didn't lose too much sleep over, over that. And then, you know, I think everybody here knew that, you know, when a guy, when a coach of, of his caliber has has the options that he has, he's got to do. In, in terms of Coach Harbaugh, he's got to do what's best for his and his, him and his family, and, and we completely understand that. So, uh, you know, I was, I was more worried about getting out here and working with the guys and, and preparing for. The this upcoming season. Do you feel like you guys have sort of not missed a beat, though, uh, now coming into camp? Yeah, I'd like to think so. You know, obviously, you come on here and mistakes are going to happen, and you know, you're gonna, man, we could, you know, what, 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 what happened here, what happened there. But I guess that's why, you know, why you, you do practice. But you no, know, I, I do feel like we're on a, we're on a good trend. You know, a good, good, good upward trend. I wanted to ask you about last year's Oregon game. Uh, you know, very good success early on in that game, up 21 to three. But then, uh, you know, some things went askew. Just your thoughts on that game and how it went, what happened, and then uh, getting them down here this year. Well, I think. Uh you know, obviously they're a better team than us that day. They beat us. They deserve to beat us. They're the better team, and they showed. You know, they got to the national championship game. Uh, but you know, they, they made us pay for the mistakes we made. And you can't make mistakes on the road, especially in a in a stadium. You know, of the with that reputation as as Otson, and you know, their reputation does deserve. They do deserve the reputation. It's loud. It's hard to play. In, and you know, as a team, you, you can't make mistakes. You can't have penalties. You can't you know throw interceptions. And and they definitely. You know, it's not like we're going out there and shooting ourselves in the foot all the time. They they force you into making mistakes with their speed and their scheme. So, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to playing them again. Uh, obviously, we got a bunch of games before that, but but um, you know, definitely looking forward to playing them when when the time comes. How, how difficult was that environment? I mean, early on, you made it kind of look easy. Uh, you know, it's it is it's hard when it's loud, but you know, you practice for it all week you, and you understand. And I'd been up there before, so I so I knew what to expect. But you know, I think that their fans do a great job of you know getting behind their team. And it's, it's cool to see. It's a great environment for, for college football. It's fun to plan. Uh, conversely, Oregon State was down here last year in, in 38 to nothing. Uh, you had four touchdowns. I mean, if, you know, if there was such thing as a clinic, I mean, you kind of put it on. And not to, you know, not to get too much into one game, but you, you had a good, you had a good night that night. I, I guess it was all right. And it was, it was rainy a little bit too, and the field was pretty in pretty bad shape. So that might have helped us a little bit. But. Uh, you know, Oregon State's another one of those teams that they're, they're so scrappy and so, you know, disciplined and so tough that you can't take plays off against them. And they've always been that way. I remember we went up to Corvallis a couple years ago and just absolutely got our butts beat. You know, they, they really handed it to us. And that's, you know, another tough place to play, especially with the, the old buzzsaw going on on third down. Uh, but, no, it's... You know, it, it's fun playing the Oregon schools because they, they got so much support from all the guys, and they're all—you know—they're going to bring their A game. They're always solid teams. With your offense and the, the pieces that you do have backing, obviously including yourself, do you feel like you can, you know, make another run, kind of like you did last year? Well, I think any, any team that's, you know, is starting a season in training camp believes that, you know, they, they can do something good, and, and so do we. You know, we we're, we're definitely have high expectations for ourselves, but but we know it starts with San Jose State, our opener on September 3rd. So, you know, we're not looking past that, and as focusing on getting better out here right now. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, no problem.